Infinite Tarot 888. This message is for Sagittarius. Now you can have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. North note I'm hearing. It's Sagittarius. This message may resonate with you or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, it's in the rest of the universe. Let it be for someone else. And hold on, this box fell down, so maybe they want me to start off with this. So let's get into your message, Sagittarius, for Libra season. What's going on with my Sagittarius? And we're gonna pull this card, it says, what's the best that could happen? What's the best that could happen, baby? Put it in the comments, and it says, you're probably super good at thinking up the worst case scenario, right? You can project all your fears onto a big screen and play them out in vivid colors. You can actually feel the anger of the confrontation. You haven't confronted the loss of the job you haven't been fired from, the death of the, the, the star you haven't dared to shoot for. Try pulling those superpowers to work in the opposite direction. Imagine how you can be surprised and delighted in the same scenarios, daydreams, instead of worrying. Say hey to that cool ass shit. So I don't know who needed to hear this. But my spirit guys just threw this and said, pick one of these cards to begin and open up your reading. Because look, it says, what's the best that could happen? Hmm. Mm hmm. So let's get into your reading. Because I'm hearing some of you guys went into this awakening with so much happiness. It's almost like, oh, God chose me. Oh, I am the chosen one. And it's almost like people didn't believe that God came to you, the universe. But as you were going through this powerful awakening, you started to see things in a different way. <laughs> For some of you guys, you were so happy. You have this aura, this energy that always was radiating freaking big. And people were sitting there going, I'm hearing some closest to you, your family members like, this motherfucker is always happy. And that's why you're finding out they betrayed you. It's almost this sense of jealousy towards you. But I'm hearing they misjudged you and they are regretting it. Because now they see the power that you have in overcoming these situations. And if you had an ex-lover or ex-spouse or just, I'm here an ex-lover, they want you back after you have overcame all these difficulties. Look at this with your full armor put on. They don't know how crazy it was when you were facing these things. And look, everything was coming towards you to heal and it's like you had one eye open like holy shit this shit is really happening to me but but you know what you're a soldier you're a spiritual warrior and a lot of you came here to break these generational curses and some of them wish they could even step in your shoes or even put them on but some of you guys whoo lord Look at this, they, the heart just fell out. It's like your ancestors are speaking right now. But look, there was a partnership that you made when you came and chose to walk this spiritual journey. Look, and it started off pretty good. Maybe you had a good feeling towards it. But then all of a sudden you had to go into this beast mode. And when they betrayed you behind the scenes, this is the energy you were in. You were like, holy shit, all this thing was coming towards you. These situations. And a lot of a lot of people are intimidated. 
Sagittarius, on how you have been overcoming these situations because a lot of them took shit from you and they wanted you to be codependent. Wow, for some of you guys, it was even, for some of you guys, it was even your parents. They wanted you as an adult to be codependent to them. For some of you guys, it was your spouse. And it was your energy. It was your energy the whole time that was abundant. It wasn't theirs. For some of you guys, you guys had a spouse or a lover that chose money over love and the whole time you were this energy this abundant energy look look at the freaking strength you have you tried to hold on to communication with this particular person over and over but they were just ruthless they were moving in this energy this aries energy this emperor energy away from you I don't know, Sagittarius. But this betrayal pushed you into having a freaking badass connection with God's source, the universe. And now I'm hearing one of your ex wants to come back. For some, even your, your relatives, they want to come back. Your sister, brother, sibling or something. But they're too intimidated. It's almost like, wow. They're so intimidated on how you don't freaking need them. And look, it's almost like betraying you, they betrayed themselves. And they know it. The universe has them facing their freaking karma. They see you in this energy of the high priestess. You may be dealing with the Pisces or just have Pisces within you. And you may be born on the second, baby. But look, you even have your cross right here. It's almost like you have your scars going through your awakening. For a lot of you guys, they're so freaking jealous on God, the universe, how God provides for you, like always. And they're realizing, for a lot of you guys, they're realizing how you always put God first. And see, the universe always provides for you. For, for a lot of you guys, you had a particular, Sagittarius, you had a particular person that took a lot of shit from you. This particular person could have even threw you out. Threw you out. And it's almost like they took everything from you and they laughed. Some of y'all didn't have shit to fall back on. And for a lot of you guys, Sagittarius, even your family members held money from you. And they wanted to see how you were going to operate without them. They wanted you in this conflict all up in your head. But what they didn't realize and what they weren't counting on is God coming through for you. See, this is you trusting in God. The universe. See, you're holding on to the universe. Mm -hmm. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. They're, this, these people are crazy, man. I don't know who you're dealing with in the comments. But man, they see you fearless. Put in the comments, I am fearless. I am strong. And it's like you have this powerful aura. For a lot of you guys, you guys are now inspiring this particular people. Yes, indeed. You're inspiring them. And a lot of them want to, they want to learn from you. Look, they want to straighten their bonds with you. But is it a little too late, Sagittarius? It says dedicate effort. For a lot of them, they didn't dedicate no effort. The number eight might be significant. Maybe you're born on eight, but or life path number eight. They didn't reciprocate that love. But they want to strengthen their bonds with you. I don't know. But some of you guys are saying, just breathe and get the fuck out. But this is them seeing you connected to the universe. 
Sagittarius. You are freaking powerful, Sagittarius. They don't understand this connection you have. And for a lot of them, they want, they want to be able to be like you because this, this is the energy they see you in, Sagittarius. They see you just trusting in the universe and they don't understand. How is it that God always provides from you? And they're sitting in this, their darkest fears is, is damn, their darkest fears, what I'm hearing is how Sagittarius is going to move on. I don't know, Sagittarius, what is, what is going on? Some of them are scared. Look, win or lose. Some of them are scared to surrender to God, the universe, because they feel they're not going to receive the same love that you are receiving. They fear they're not going to have the success and the growth that you're having. And they're intimidated. They fear that God will not love them because of their sins. Look, 8-8 eight, eight right here. But what you're teaching them, Sagittarius, and what you will be teaching humanity is what I'm hearing with your testimony. Because some of you guys have been through some harsh times. And you've gained your independence. And they don't like that. But you're going to teach them how to release and let go, to surrender, to be their true self. Number 13, some of you guys are born on the 13th. But look, you're going to teach them how to shed their own skin, how to transform, how to trust in the universe. That's what I'm hearing. Some of, your, some of you guys, I'm hearing your divine purpose is to teach others how to build a relationship with source, God, the universe. And look, it's almost like you're walking inspiration. And some of them grew up not really learning how to give and receive. They were just takers is what I'm hearing. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anyone when you start, hit the like button. Share, baby. And comment if this is you. Let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius? All right. Look. It says, your ancestors are so proud of you. And look, a fire sign. This is you. Your ancestors are so proud of you. It says... This is just the beginning. Wow. And then Archangel Michael protects you. Reach out to him. Some of you guys are, look, are learning these karmic lessons. And you're overcoming them. Big time. And what is this? By you overcoming these karmic lessons, look, you're freeing yourself. And for some of you guys, you're freeing your ancestors. You're breaking generational curses, Sagittarius. It says you are healed and you are a warrior. We mentioned that earlier, man. You're, you're a freaking spiritual warrior. You are the chosen one in your family. And these people are tripping out on how God always provides for you. It says don't stop. Don't stop now. God has something amazing for you. For some of you guys, look, win or lose. Win or lose. You are trusting in God, the universe. Wow. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. All right, it says right here, we're going to take these last ones. And it says right here, it says, your next chapter is going to cause some people to wish they had treated you better. Believe that. So, yes, they misjudge you, Sagittarius. And they are regretting it. And the simple fact that you choose happiness, it fucking 
brings out a lot of jealousy. Because you don't react. Look, it says pause and let go. You don't react. And it says you keep getting up and it scares the fuck out of them is what I'm hearing. So Sagittarius, let's see. What do we have for Sagittarius? We got these new cards. Let's see what affirmations we have for Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. And you have these two cards that came out. And it says right here. Manifesting is the creative process of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create an experience that elevates my spirit and the spirit of the world. Bam. Look at that. And it says, I can decide today to recalibrate my energy and commit to love and joy. So this, this is why they, why they freaking are jealous of you, Sagittarius. It's almost like when they want to bring you out of character. And don't get me wrong, Sagittarius, you unleashed on some of these people. You you probably did unleash. You freaking unleashed. I'm hearing big time on them. But your willingness to transform. And go back to love and joy. It puts you in this energy of manifestation. And co-creating with the universe. And they don't understand. How God always provides for you. And Sagittarius. I'm, I'm hearing. I'm channeling right now. It's like. You're not perfect. But you tend to work on yourself. You tend to ask for forgiveness and you tend to let go of what no longer resonates with you. And it scares the shit out of them because some of these people want to be back in your life. But they no longer resonate with you. You have elevated. So that's what I have for you. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Infinite Tarot 888.